All right, welcome back to Demolition Expedition. Today we're going to be seeing what happens when you pour a few vials of liquid explosive into a pool. And then we're going to see what happens when you shoot a flare gun into a pool, pointing down and then pointing straight. I'm going to try to get the flare to skip across the water like a rock. I'm not sure if I can do that, but we'll see. All right, with the liquid explosive, this stuff is just potassium and sodium mixed together with a little bit of ethanol. And for those of you that don't know, when you take pure potassium and pure sodium and you let the two metals touch each other, they liquefy and turn into a highly reactive explosive metal that's set off when it touches water. All right, so uh, let's see what happens. All right, I'm going to do the liquid explosive first. So, yes, I know my pool is extremely dirty. I haven't been cleaning it, but that being said, let's get started. All right, so here I go, right into the pool. Hold on, all right. not coming out, it's getting stuck at the tip. Keeps getting stuck just before I pour it. Oh shit. Holy. I felt that on my legs. Holy crap. That hurt. That was amazing, though. Alright, uh... I don't want to do the next one, just because I'm not wearing shoes or pants, so... On to the flare gun. Alright, so now I'm about to shoot the flare gun. I've never shot a flare gun before. This is a 12-gauge Orion uh, flare gun. Let's see what it does. I'm gonna to try to get the flare to skip across the water, kind of like a rock, but I'm not sure if that's even possible. It would be cool if it went underwater and still burned too, but let's see what happens. I'm gonna to try to shoot two uh, flare cartridges out of here today. So let's see. And this is uh, my first time shooting this flare gun. I've never shot it before. That's awesome. It's burning underwater. That was awesome. I love this little gun. That was awesome. Alright, got the second... 12 gauge flare in there and judging from the first one it was really cool how it was still burning underwater i thought that it might do that but i don't think that i'll be able to get it to skip across the water this time i'm going to try to do that in another video and the reason i'm not going to do it this time is because i don't know if this flare will ricochet off of the blue part on the other side of the pool and then come back at me or go through a window or something or I just want to be safe, so I'm going to do it at a, a lake, and I'll try to make the flare skip across the water there. If that's even possible, let me know in the comment section. But I said I'd be doing two flares. Here's the second one. That one is not burning. Looks like it hit the water, or... It went out before it even hit the water. I don't know what happened. I think I can see it at the bottom. The part that's actually the flare. Yeah, it didn't even ignite. I didn't shoot it far enough. These things are meant to go 500 plus feet in the air and I shot it 10 feet from me. So yeah, you need at least a good 20, 25 feet 
before the flare even ignites, but that first shot was really cool. I was still burning underwater. But yeah, thanks for uh, watching Demol Ex Demolition Expedition. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment what you want to see in the next video. Thanks.